Hello everyone. Uh, I am Hussam Aldin. My name is Hussam Aldin, and uh, I am Houdini FX artist. Also, I have master's degree in mechanical engineering, fluid mechanics. And in this tutorial, I will explain some effect in the fluid. Fluid. It is the air field, or it is called the air field. Maybe the name is not correct for this effect, but this uh, this is what we usually call it: the air effect. Feel, uh, the, the air field effect in the fluid fluid as you can see here we have this water flow inside this pipe from this pipe and uh, this one here as you can see here with the air field and this one here it is without air field effect so as you can see even if I will apply a color based on the velocity there are for the this with the air field there are different in the color between the particles but for this one here without air field almost the color is the same for all the particles so what is the idea of the air field effect what is the idea behind uh, this effect firstly I would like to show you my site uh, this is my site sanfx.org where you can find some Houdin tutorials this is my last tutorials it's about the car real-time animation and rigging using the rigid body solvers using, using the rigid body solvers with the constraints this tutorial here you will learn how to rig and how to animate this car in the real time this one it is about the procedural modeling and lighting in Houdin FX this is the last result as you see here this one and there are this tutorial it is about the tree, tree ridging for future film tree ridging and growing effect in Houdini FX and this one it is introduction to chops math in Houdini FX volume 1 and volume 2 okay so from this training tab here you can select the tutorial that you want the chops the math the tree ridging the craft Houdini volume 1 the cars procedural modeling and lighting for example if I if you will click on the tree origin you will find here more descriptions you will find the lesson outline and of course all my tutorials comes with the project files okay so this is about the sanfix.org my site and my Houdini tutorials let us go back to Houdini and to our airfield effect okay as you can see here there are airfield effect here without air field effect okay as I told you the name is not correct for this effect the air field the cor the correct name or what we call this in the fluid mechanics we call this one here turbulent flow and we call this one here laminar flow so what is the difference between those two type flow here I have this Google tab here I have this search turbulent flow and laminar flow so what is the different and why we have those two type of flow in the fluid fluid okay the idea behind those two type of flow is the following if we have a fluid inside pipe and we have this uh, we have a fluid flow inside the pipe there are different in the velocity between the parts of this uh, fluid for example in the middle here as you can see the velocity for the fluid it will be bigger than uh, the places where there are touch between the pipe material and between the fluid itself so on the edges here the velocity it will be small but in the middle because there are no friction force the velocity it would be high so because of the friction between the pipe and between the fluid on the edges here or on the places where there are touch between the fluid and the pipe because of this friction there are small velocity value for the fluid and in the middle the velocity value it will be big and if this difference or this difference between the middle and between the edges of the flow if this difference in the velocity is big this it will cause creating a vortex inside the liquid inside the flow 
and this vortex it will give us at the end what we call it the turbulent flow this one here the second time first it's one there are not there are no big difference in the velocity or the friction for the pipe material it is not high friction so this it will give us a laminar flow but if the friction is big and there are big difference in the velocity between the middle and between the edges of the flow of the liquid this it will give us what we call it the turbulent flow as you can see here there are vortex it will be created and this it will give us the turbulent flow in the laminar flow there are small difference between the velocity in the middle and on the edges or in the places where it will be uh, there are touch between the pipe material and the fluid itself <coughs> sorry so the idea is how we can achieve this effect in Houdini so as I told you the people trying to create this effect they are created a lot of micro solvers I saw even my supervisors and Houdini artists they are using the soft solver they are creating very complex way spending a lot of time for creating the, this effect micro solvers uh, sub solver complex way complex concept I don't know why okay uh, what I have here I have very small simple idea for achieve this effect it is just by using the simple edit node yes simple Houdini edit node from where I can use it here the edit node using this edit node using this sculpt tab just using this function here in this node I can achieve this effect and you can see the result here by the way for those two type of the flow the they, there are completely the same dub network with the same setting this dub network here it is completely the same as this dub network only the changes between those two network it is just this edit node or the sculpt node as you can see so what we have here let us take a look firstly about the network to the network here that we have firstly I have this circle I used it for creating the pipe uh, geometry the pipe mesh collision geometry and I used it as source also so here will extrude translate down a little on the y-axis create fog scatter some pointers and here I add the velocity as you can see minus one 0.5 on the z-axis and here fluid source and here is the flip fluid uh, the dub network and here for the collision geometry the same circle just extrude uh, firstly here some scale big scale and here pull extrude and give create the pipe and give this pipe some thickness as you can see using this second extrude and insert those two the source and the vibe geo into this network as you can see right now we have this we have those the vibe collision here here it is the static object it is the vibe and we have this flip fluid solver flip solver with this flip fluid object with this source volume as you can see by the way maybe you will not find some of those nodes that's because uh, I created this hip file using the Houdini 16 or Houdini 17 I don't remember but right now I'm using the Houdini 18 and the hip file does work correctly and as I told you everything here is by default some single small some very very tiny small changes here just for example here in the source node here I just turn on the source particles here I just modify this the particles uh, separation and the particle radius in the flip in the flip solver there are nothing everything by default just in this volume motion volume motion tab here I changed this box size as you can see this is the, the new size for the box and the gravity node output node and so on so and because here I don't have this cup node and because uh, the friction force between the pipe this is the inner surface for the pipe the friction force between this liquid 
and between the pipe itself it is not big so what we have we have this laminar or uniform flow this is the default flow just by using source collision geometry and flip solver we have this laminar flow so what is the idea and how I can achieve a big friction between the surface of the pipe between the pipe here and between the fluid what I did here in the second example here what I did if you would see here we have this flow as you can see right now here this nice turbulent flow there are no air filled what I did I just used this sculpt node this edit node here this sculpt node what I did I created here some uh, cusp or some bump some bump sculpt some cusp or sculpt some bump into the inner surface of the pipe where there are touch between the fluid and between the pipe so I created this cusp as you can see this uh, this bump sculpt this bump using this edit node and because of those cusp what we will have you will have a high friction between the surface and between between the pipe and between the liquid and this it will give us what we want it will give us this uh, let us turn on the wireframe mode and this it will give us the flow that we want it the turbulent flow let us see the flow again awesome very nice as I told you it is completely the same network just the only different it is using this edit node and creating this cusp this bump on the inner surface of the fluid of the pipe and this is the result this is turbulent flow that is because there are high friction between the surface of the pipe and between the fluid because there are no because there are no sculpt node here and you can see this is the collision geometry because of this what we have here I will turn on just the collision geometry as you can see here this geometry here is without any this geometry here let us turn here and zoom about the view sometimes okay because there are no any cusp here into this collision geometry that the flow is laminar flow or uniform flow see very nice flow but because because the friction here is a small friction value between the fluid and between the pipe material but here because of this cusp here what we have we have big friction because of those here because of those cusp here because of this bump in the geometry we have a high friction value and because of this what we have here it is just turbulent flow as you can see very nice effect very nice effect and very easy way just using one single node and using just a sculpt function in the edit node and uh, this is the idea behind how we can create this effect of flow in Houdini just using uh, the edit node or the sculpt node and you can see right now even if you would take a look for the velocity here as you can see here the velocity here it is a little different but here the velocity it is almost the same color as you can see because there are no friction all it's all green here and then it comes here the red and here as you can see the velocity it is different for some particles and this it will give us this effect of the flow the turbulent flow or as people call it air air field effect so and uh, one other thing I would like to show you as you can see here we have this sculpt node and right now I have this cusp and you can see the height for this cusp here it is big height big height but uh, for example if I would take this node here and turn it on you can see here I have small and smooth 
uh, cusp or smooth bump inside the surface for this pipe here if I will calculate or if I will cache the flow for this pipe you will see that there are turbulent in this time at this time there are turbulent but also the turbulent it will be small turbulent not very high turbulent because if you see here the turbulent it is very big for this one here see here the turbulent it is almost very 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 small and here big turbulent the turbulent for the flow it is big here the turbulent it is small and if I will turn on this node here and recache the simulation I will show you the result so cache the simulation and this is the effect right now as you can see here because of this sculpt node I have this turbulent but as you can see this turbulent flow it is smaller than this turbulent so the turbulent here is big and here is small based on the sculpt so this is the idea behind how we can create airfield effect and uh, hope you understood what I said and uh, this is the easy way for creating this effect just the sim the symbol and default setting for the flip fluid just add some cusp inside the surface where there are flow between where there are flow where there are touch between the fluid and the collision geometry this is the idea thank you for watching uh, see you in another tutorial thank you